we're here at Devox Marrakesh and I am joined by Hubert Savonia. Yeah. Thank you very much for taking the time to chat Thanks to us for today. And Hubert, what are you here doing at DevOx Morocco? Actually, it's my third DevOx this year. I've been to Paris, Antwerp the last week, and now Morocco. Almost and a DevOx champion then. Yeah, almost. <laughs> I, I live in north of France, so really close to Antwerp. And I do most of the time, I'm a developer around front end technologies like JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. And I'm here in DevOx Morocco to give a talk about service worker, which is a, a new kind of technology, a standard, that's coming in your browsers. And what are the advantages of using service worker? Actually, there's a lot of them, because it allows you, first it allows you to to handle bad, co bad connectivity and offline situations. And from now on, only native apps have this ability, or are at least a good way to, to handle this. So right now, you'll be able to handle bad connectivity and offline situation with the standard web API. And it also opens new ways to close the gap between native apps and um, web apps because you'll be able to do push notifications and stuff like that. A lot of companies have started to build such tools. The Guardian has built something where, where you, do, you don't have a connection. They actually um, tell you you can play a crossword instead of displaying a, a bad page. Wow! And Facebook also. But it's kind of keeping that retention. Yeah, exactly. Instead of you know, displaying a, a dinosaur in an offline sorry page. Which everyone hates. Because there's a lot of really, really interesting stuff coming up with that technology, and that's what I will talk about. It's quite an exciting time, isn't it, to be in kind of that end of the development scale? I mean, with all the announcements around JavaScript at Java yeah. 1 last week, and I, we've just been talking about IBM investing in Node.js. Yeah. Do you feel this is a really positive step? Yeah, there's a lot of companies, uh, at least um, even Microsoft, who, who is, has been known to, to be sometimes the, the dark, on the dark side, has really invested a lot in TypeScript, the superset of JavaScript, and a lot in Node.js too. So, yes, since 2012, it has been a really, really good period to, to to work in the front-end industry and with JavaScript. Do you think it's becoming easier for Java developers to transition to front-end as well? Yeah, I think, because uh, this year the sixth version of JavaScript has been finalized. And there's a lot of new features in the language that are really helpful for Java developers. And also frameworks like AngularJS are really appealing for developers with a Java background. So yes, it's a really good time for them to to step up in the real front end background. Honey, and as a bit of a serial DevOps attendee, what's your impressions of DevOps Morocco? Yeah, it's, it's quite different actually. The, um, obviously the weather is it's different. It's beautiful. But um, the people are really warm, for, you know, really um, welcoming. And um, it, it's, a, it's a really great venue actually. The, the theater rooms are, are great, the smaller rooms too, and I really like the way people are, are cool and just speaking and welcoming you here. Great, well, okay, we look forward to seeing your talk later and thank you very yeah, much for joining us. Thank you very us. much.